Hi, I'm Willa Sipple. And I'm Salafina Foreman. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. This coming Tuesday at the midterm elections, question three on the Massachusetts state ballot will be about whether or not to defend the rights of transgender people in public places through the 2016 law that was already established. A vote yes on this law will keep the existing anti-discrimination law in place. A vote no will repeal the law. We sit down with Emma Fallon, student at NHS and advocate for question three. Um, so I think our current administration um, allows these, uh, the people who are using anti-trans scare tactics um, to feel emboldened to take this like bold, bold step to try and repeal a law that's been in place for two years with zero issue. A similar ballot measure was introduced in Houston, Texas um, a couple years back and uh, they thought they had like great support. There was um, early polling showed that 68% um, of people were like voting for it but they ended up losing due to anti-trans scare tactics um, very close to the election. To get a sense of how the Northampton High School transgender community might be impacted by question three, we sat down with Max Fineland and Sadie Rice. So in 2016, the Massachusetts state government um, added gender identity, gender identity and just like transgender people in, in general to their list of non-discrimination laws. It's on the ballot again for some reason and it's trying to take away protections against transgender individuals like going to the bathroom that agrees with their chosen gender identity. I am definitely afraid of being in a situation where someone could be able to discriminate against me for being who I am and having and just passing it off like that. So all of this nonsense is just based on fears that women will get assaulted in bathrooms. And I think that's what a lot of these groups are campaigning on, these opposition groups. And it's not, it's like a real, like once you start to understand their arguments, it becomes really apparent that, that none of these, like, None of these issues, none of these complaints are anti-sexual assault. They're just anti-trans people. Well, I think I'd be okay within the school because our administration is pretty good about it. But like in other places, it would really suck because I would have to use the girls' bathroom, which I'm not comfortable with. And um, it would, I feel like the, it would incite more violence against trans people in general. It might not be as big a deal in Northampton, but I think definitely in other parts of the state, it would definitely be like a lot more dangerous to be a trans person. Thanks for watching, and make sure you get out the vote on Tuesday. This was Tell It Like It Is.